So, okay, so there are no announcements from Everest. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. I'm just going to go down the list as usual, but I will wait two minutes for a few people to volunteer. I would like for more of the female trainees to put their hands up and volunteer to speak. Um, but I'll wait two minutes and then I will go down the list as usual. So feel free to put your hand up. And thank you, Michael, for contributing. Okay. No blockers. That's great. Thank you, Michael. Um, Okay, uh, Biniam, good morning. If you can speak, please update us on your progress. Do you have any blockers? You know uh, how it goes. So please um, Okay, uh, good morning, Jerry. Can you hear me? Yes, good morning. Okay, yeah, to give you an update. Uh, Yesterday, I spent uh, I spent the whole day researching and trying to understand exactly what uh, uh, the data looks like and uh, the different tools available for me to load and process it. Uh, I think uh, I've made some progress today. I'm experimenting with uh, tools I discovered yesterday, and I'm trying to just get a feel of it. And uh, Along the way, I've also initiated a new repository and started working on my project. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, um, Biruk. Good morning. Um, good morning. And then after Biruk, Martin can go. So please update us on your progress, Biruk. Okay, I'm not sure if you can speak. Martin, good morning. Please go ahead. Good morning. Uh, I hope you're doing great. Uh, yeah, so for me from my side, uh, what I've been working on was setting up the environment, just ensure to get everything to be up and running for that particular data set for the geographic data. And uh, now, I tried reaching out to Yabebal yesterday uh, so that he could uh, allow uh, allow us to be able to access the AWS server, but uh, so far so good, I'm not yet able to access the AWS server, and I wanted to request uh, Yabebal to give me permission to be able to access the uh, AWS server, yeah, that's all. Okay, um, thank you. I think Yabobal is in the session today, so now he knows. Uh, Kevin? Yeah, just, uh, uh, okay, to just uh, say, like, uh, yesterday, sorry, I had uh, flight cancelled, so very, I wasn't able to do anything, just... Uh, but now it is up, the machines are up just now, like um, in a few, like one minute ago. So they will be up. And then I'm just looking also all of the, the new um, SSH keys and I'm gonna add them. And so you will have for a while. I, so this machine, as I said, are just the, exactly the same machines before. And so take time to, you know, to put data, wherever you like in, in the, in the backup folder, which is basically the notebook folder, and then don't really work on it at the moment on the machine. You know, if you install everything, it will go away the machine because this is the machine with GPU that we don't need for this challenge. But I will once like um, so I will say just to, to make it very clear. Let's say by four p.m. UTC. Um, then I will basically switch it off and then start a new machine that has actually more so the groups from your side it would be nothing you will not notice anything you will log in the only difference is that the machines will be a bit better 
um, and uh, but there is no GPU, so you are not going to use. You are not um, because this the current um, project doesn't require as much GPU. Therefore, it's only just be CPU. But yeah, so the, the reason yesterday was just that I was unable physically to do anything. Um, so I'm just doing it now. So if you have any issue, especially those who have uh, who have sent, I have seen a few people who have sent um, their group um, SSH keys. I'm just going to add them, but you will let me know and then we will take care of that. But once everybody is logged in with this one, the next one will be just exactly similar. You know, from your side, you're not going to change anything. Okay. Uh, do we need to, so it, it is um, like otherwise just basically the data is you know we're to, we're talking about hundreds of gigabytes um, and you are not gonna be able to do anything useful. I would say just I mean you can try it to download I don't know one of the folder uh, something if you have seen the the data size you know. Working on images on satellite images is just really large data. So I think you will need the speed, the internet speed from AWS, as well as the memory, as well as you know all the infrastructure there. Um, but if you are trying to do it, you, yeah, you will in your computer. You will you need really a good fast internet to be able to interact or get. But once you download it, of course you can. You know, you can work, you can use it also in your machine. So if you don't use it, it's okay. If, you know, not many people in the same group use it, I can switch off and we can save money. But I think, you know, working in the cloud means really your computer basically becomes, all you need is just a browser. Your computer could be just like um, a two gigabyte RAM and you don't need, that's it, that's all you need. So a Chromebook should work if you are working in a cloud. All you need is a terminal and a browser. Yeah. Uh, so is that your computer? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Then that's absolutely. Of course, you can you can use your. That's better. Definitely better than what you'll find. The only thing is just the internet. If you are installing something, you know that in AWS when you are installing it, it's just uh, lightning speed. But at you know you can't download all of the data again. It's uh, however. It's going to be very, very slow to download in the Ethiopian network, I imagine, unless you have also a gigabyte network. But I think from the machine side, you definitely have a very good one. So, yeah. Good. Back to you, Kerry. Thank you, Yababal. Um, Kevin, was your hand up? yeah okay please go ahead okay good morning so yesterday i was trying to go through the the challenge and trying to understand it at high level i was also able to set up the environment like try to set up my github and write a readme yeah i didn't i didn't get i didn't experience any broker at my end Okay, that is good to hear. Thank you so much. Biruk, please go ahead. Uh, hello, morning, everyone. Uh, so uh, yesterday I tried to uh, look the challenge document um, and the, the, the references which are uh, listed in the reference section. Also, I tried to set up my GitHub repository um and also uh, try to install some of the uh, important uh, libraries uh, so i tried uh, pp installation but it, it, it gives me some kind of error so i go for some kind of uh, conda installation and i try to install the basic libraries like joe plot and joe pandas so um, now i am uh, on my way to proceed to the basic uh, task. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, good morning, Titus. Please go ahead. Yeah. Good. Good morning, everyone. Are you able to hear yes. me? Yes. 
Okay, so uh, thanks for the opportunity. Um, personally, yesterday uh, I spent most of the day just uh, interacting with the, with the files, the just reading the documentation of this week's challenge, uh, going through the materials that we were sent and just uh, getting a good understanding on what you're supposed to do. Then later on, I set up my repo um, and yeah, just setting up my environment. So today I'm hoping to start with the task, task one and I'm really excited for the tutorial for the tutorial that is upcoming. So yeah, I'm really excited for these projects. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. Um, Dagmawi, please update us on your progress and if you face any challenges. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, as always, uh, I have gone through the challenge document yesterday and uh, uh, still trying to find uh, new concepts that I was able to uh, get hold on. So that was uh, things that I, I actually caught the, uh, the, the YouTube video of the uh starting with the challenge document and uh, try to uh go with that so basically today i will start working on the challenge and that's it yeah and no blockers along okay thank you uh daisy please go ahead and share with us Um, I'm not sure if she can speak. Uh, Gezahain, please update us um, on your progress. Okay. Oh, are you speaking? Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, here knock. Good morning. Please share with us um, if you have faced any challenges. So, uh, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, I, I don't have any blockers right now. Uh, I was just trying to understand the basic concepts behind the data, what, what it looks like. I was trying to do it using Colab and seeing what the different properties of the data were, just uh, just trying to see what was inside it and yeah I'm still exploring so there are no blockers on my side okay great thank you um hey one good morning please share with us if you've had any challenges what progress you've made uh, good morning uh, so I, for for blockers, I was not facing any. I was just um, trying to understand uh, concepts of data engineering and going through the challenge. Uh, today, I'll be doing fetching and loading the data, task one, which is task one. So, thank you. This is my progress. Thank you so much. Uh, Jeremy, please share with us the progress that you've made and if you're facing any challenges or blockers. Okay, I'm not sure if Jeremy can speak. 
Uh, Matilda, good morning. Please share with us. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, yes. Okay. Um, so, as for my progress, I'm still trying to familiarize myself on data engineering and on the project. I've been going through the resources and yeah, I'm hoping that um, we'll get to kick, I'll get to kick start on it after today's tutorial. But meanwhile, I'm still just researching about it. Thank you. No blockers yet. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's good to hear. Uh, Malaku, good morning. Please share with us. Okay, Malaku can't speak. Um, Remit, good morning. Please share with us. Okay, good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. So uh, what I did yesterday was trying to understand the project, the tasks, and going through the references provided and setting up my environment. Uh, I'm hoping today's tutorial will make more uh, clearer all the things that I have been reading about. So I'm looking forward to this tutorial. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Samuel. Could you please share with us? Okay, hello, Gary, and uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, for an update from my side is that uh, no blockers still now. I've gone to the reference on the document and trying to figure out what is expected. I've set it all necessary environment and I'm optimistic about the challenge. Uh, no blockers still now. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tesfaye, good morning. <clears throat> Please update us on your progress. Okay, I'm not sure if Tesfaye can speak. Tewodros. Uh, please share with us. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so yesterday I was just going through the challenge document and the references, uh, trying to understand the new terminologies. And I was also going through the, the data and trying to understand uh, the different properties. So no blockers so far. Okay, thank you. Uh, it seems that everyone has spoken either uh, spoken out loud or contributed in the chat. I am not sure. I'm very surprised that so many people have chosen to speak in the chat. Uh, if there is anything else from the Teen Academy team side, please uh, share with us or else we can wrap up the stand up. I have I have one to ask and okay so those of you who didn't update the SSH you can log in and that the rest just wait a couple of minutes you will be able to log in. Um so I just want to hear I think the updates are good very positive I am I'm, I'm happy with that. Um but in terms of experience, expectation, uh, is it like, has anyone like explained just how they planned? Just because for me, the, I think as I was saying yesterday, if you have spent good time planning on Monday, then definitely you would be able to really make a good stride, especially given that this is a project that if you you know, if it's well, other people can use it, right? So you're contributing a package and you're, you know, you're building some kind of uh, user 
in mind like a data scientist and you know like and you, how how detailed you give them uh is also up to you like from basic just to actually more advanced use and also you have to build the documentation um around it and that means like looking at around if you haven't used before phoenix or some others so do you feel comfortable do you feel kind of you get the idea and if there's one person uh actually who could really just take me through how they planned it just so that we all have uh, clarity so that would be great martin all right uh, thank you for the opportunity uh to be able to present again and uh from my side uh, what i say that uh, first of all i'll do is to get uh to be able to access first of all the data set that they're fetching the fetching the data from the public data set that uh, is uh, that we were given from that particular api and then uh once i am able to like fetch the data set i'll get uh, the geopandas i've been looking at how the geopandas uh, actually does its uh, how how it works and i'll start now like structuring the data so that i can form uh, I can I can form it in such a way that uh, when somebody uh, requests for a particular uh, gives us some particular coordinates, it can give us the output that uh, is particularly desired. And I also wanted to look at the different types of coordinate uh, CRS, the, the coordinate reference systems, so that it can be able to adapt to each and every type of uh, coordinate reference system that is the different types that there are uh, so I'll, I'll start with the so uh, today what i really wanted to look at was uh the different types of crs the, dif the different types of uh, coordinate reference systems and then i'm able to integrate it when fetching the data so that it can be able to produce something uh that is using the geo pandas then uh, that is on tuesday uh, on Wednesday, I wanted to uh, look at the visualization perspective. So the visualization perspective is uh, when you get the data, you can be able to uh, see the elevation and all that, how it looks like. And so that is, uh, and also doing some bit of feature engineering, looking at the topology, topography and the, like, uh, the index and all those other features that you can be able to add so that data can be most discussed. So that is uh, what I want to do on uh, Wednesday and Thursday at least. So by Thursday, hopefully I'll now be winding up on uh, modularizing the, the, the entire package so that it can become one thing which somebody can be able to install on their particular machine and it can be able to run and uh, you can be able to give particular different types of uh, different types of like you can get, you can be able to run different types of coordinate reference systems and it will give you the desired data whether it's visually or whether it's just by a by a table yeah thank you great i think it's good yeah you just should add other items like the interpolation um and 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 some other transformations that are required and how are they like if someone want to extend also your code, how are they extending it? Do they have to hack it? Or can they provide function to your classes in such a way that, for example, how are you allowing them to do, to make some kind of new type of transformation? Let's say squaring the values, for example, you know, like, do they have inputs? So, you know, this, the, the fields in, for your func for your functions, do they have parameters with KWRs that you are allowing them? I think great. I think the plan is good. That's, um, thanks for the example. I hope other people also see the importance of the coordinate reference system is going to be really the the most important information you need to understand because otherwise you know there is so much um, and people want it in different uh, ways so i think that's very one of the sticking point you might have understanding and transforming once that is really clear i think a lot will be clear um because it is projection there is on the sphere you know or earth is on the sphere you know but most of it is a, a projection and then another part that you should probably part of integrate planning just or at least lay, specify some kind of time to work on is caching if you are now accessing the file 
you know, whether you are going to cache it somewhere in such a way that, you know, it gets faster instead of loading or also caching some kind of result. Um, so are you storing some kind of, so this would be something to make it, uh, to make it faster sometimes to not do the same thing if it's already done. Uh, and also parallel com paralyzing it, some of your code, for example, running with multiprocessing, if, you know, the, for example, independent processes, independent transformations can be done in parallel. So I think that's pipeline, you know, I, we have been telling you to be just pipeline driven since the beginning. Now, can you make your code also pipeline? That means chained together and also, um, yeah, it's kind of that. So you should probably try to integrate. Of course, you, plan means plan. You may not finish all of it, but it's good to just add, you know, where necessary elements will come. So um, I will try to share, but I think the... There are, there are a lot, so uh, I'll just share that one. Yeah, Redis, you know, Memcache, uh, but not only that in terms of, as I understand, uh, also how you cache, like, so usually, you know, this, that follows is that you you do with some kind of, you, you will hash your functions and inputs, and then you save them based on that, and you kind of, you know, how you call back the same, if the same thing, if the same function, if the function hasn't been modified, if the arguments and the, the parameters that are in are not modified, you should be able to uh, store. But I think, yeah, if you use Redis and Memcache in terms of actual caching tools, that would be uh, one. Uh, but then how you store and, you know, whether you're going to use a queue system. So if, you know, the FIFO system, for example, um, to limit the kind of the size of the caching, because you don't want to build, um, you know, too much cache in it but you know when you, you will have a lot of reference i will also add reference on that but it's just the idea itself like now you brainstorm on monday let's say all of these elements what are required and then it's kind of you add it in your plan your plan can be as part of github issue your plan can be as part of github projects and you add them or your plan can be just in a paper but at least you have everything you know the pieces together and then you kind of grind. So I think that's what I, I wanted to know. Yeah, um, it seems people have at least now, they see how, what is required in that kind of planning. And most of you hopefully now, I assume you planned, if not just plan it again, uh, if you haven't planned. Um, so yeah, that's from my side, thanks. And yeah, um, as I said, those who hasn't changed their key can log in now and those just wait a few minutes and I will let you know. From my side, that's it, uh, Katie. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, please go ahead. Uh, whoever is behind the academy team today. Thanks, Gary. Uh, good morning. Everest. Everyone. Good morning. So, just a quick announcement. So, there is a change on the schedule instead of uh, technical tutorial after this. So we have careers tutorial at 10.30. So today's tutorial will be moved to tomorrow morning. So we communicate that on Slack, but for those who are on the call, that's the announcement that they have to be aware of. Okay, thank you. Um, so, I will see everyone hopefully at 10.30 a.m. UTC for the careers tutorial. Um, have a good day, everyone. Thank you for being here.